it's going. Yeah, man. Look, we're in these big chairs over here at the food ranch in Joe's Valley. Um, some of the friendliest people you could ever uh, imagine. Uh, thank you to uh, what's Cross your name? Crossbow. Crossbow. I appreciate crossbow. it, Crossbow. Yeah. Here, let me. I like that. Let me hold this, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. Are you working right now? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta let you get back to it, but uh, that's good. I do, like I said, I do this every day. I come out, we've got people from all over that come out to you know, they're up their way to Joe's Valley for the rock climbing or whatever they are. And yeah, yeah, we'll all could. It's kind of hard to hold the phone and take you know, in a big chair and take a picture. So, we, it, it's we, amazing, we man. See people out here doing this, we'll come out, anybody will come out. And it's a cultural it. hub that you guys have here, yeah. dude. Like, my, my, my friends back home in Houston are going to be so thrilled to see that a place like this exists. Well, I'm from Beaumont. I'm right. I, I lived in Beaumont for a long time. Okay. Yeah, Bridge City, Beaumont, Orange, you know, Orange County right there. Yeah. On into Lake Charles and down into Crowley, you know, into Lafayette. That's, that was my stomping ground. That's wild that we ended up uh, running into I each family. other. I got family. I live in the next town over. My grandparents have lived there since okay. the 1800s, you know. On down the so line. deep roots, deep, deep roots. Yeah, and I've came up here since I was a kid for fishing, hunting, and I said when I grow up and get my shit together, I'm moving to Orangeville. Heck and yeah! So two years ago, I moved here and bought my house. <laughs> hey, congratulations, <laughs> man! Big congrats, man! <laughs> Thank you, Crossbow. All right, man, y'all. I appreciate man. you. Yeah, Thanks for the hospitality. Yeah. What's up, dude? Yo, sit in these big chairs for me. Don't get nervous, bro. Don't get camera shy. Me never. Bro, for the first time, how does it how does it feel to feel small, dude? <laughs> is, this, is this how you feel every day? Every day, bro. <laughs> I wake up, I have no other choice, dog. <laughs> That's why you gotta think big. <laughs> That's it, dude. Uh, let's go hit these boulders. Yeah, what are we gonna hit up today? Uh, I wanna try uh, Frost and Flakes first. Looks like a solid, looks very much my style. Okay. Um, overhanging, like good moves on good holds. You know what I would like to find yeah. is I want to get something hard, but not that tall. <laughs> yeah, looks tall. <laughs> Rolling in to Joe's Valley. I'm here with the one and only. <laughs> What's up, Jake Horowitz? What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Boulder, we at? We're at the Hulk. Jake's Tips, number three. If you're looking for a boulder, always look for a van on the road. Always a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of van, bro. Jake, what's your first impression? Exactly what I want. Steep, tall, big moves on big holds. What can be better? All right, man. You gotta see it, you could dream it, and then once you can dream it, you could be it. Look at this, I don't even know if this is desert or if this is forest, or both. It's the desert. It's the desert. Or the Doris. I think desert sounds better. You, you, you heard it here first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fresh beta stuff that you want to think about? Um, beta wise, I think just really cranking in that drop knee kind of sooner rather than later. Even to bring the right hand up to the match. Then um, really torquing uh, 
the hips in to go for that reach and just making sure that you are slow enough to like really be accurate with it. And then for the next move, getting the, getting the knee inside the, inside the elbow. And, uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Good job. Other sevens, I feel like if he got up really early um, to get up to like, the plan of the apes boulder, Good. bring the heat wall. Bring the heat wall. The seven called Baldwin Bash, that's really classic. Cowbells and eight. Stir the pie. Vertical ice. Vertical ice, yeah. How you feeling, Jake? Like my foot got done swelled up. Look at what this man's working with. The secret is to always remember your breath. I love it. <laughs> Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. He got his foot in the boot. How does it feel, Chewy? You Ooh. sent a V3. Honestly, man, I'm excited about it. Do you think you set yourself a high enough... Uh, a uh, goal now that you're almost there on the first on the second day man um i honestly don't know because with grading it could you know it's all subjective it could be you know it could be, that could have been a soft three that could have been a hard three i really don't know um but right now my goal is v4 and that's what it's gonna be until i hit that goal if i hit it well you know what i'm gonna chase that five man yeah, yeah. while i'm out here i love it and if there's a six that looks fun on and it's my style I'm gonna jump on it, dude. Well, this man's attitude is so good. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need. It's, it's you can't let the gray necessarily scare you off, man. It's yeah. nice to have that goal of you know I want to set that V4, but that's not my only goal with this trip. It's also have fun, meet people, just be out here, just dude. be out here, enjoy the fucking scenery, man. I love being it. in nature. <laughs> Damn, dude, I thought I was gonna crush this one. So <sighs> 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 nice. Good breathing, Jake. Nice. I like how you hugged it there. Let's go, Dave. Nice. Come on, come on. You got the red out right. Whew. Oh. Ow. That's it, Jake. Yeah. That's it. Let's go. Yes. Yes, yes. Going back to the project, Frosted Flakes, V5. Um, he's got the moves pretty much dialed in. Um, we're gonna come with that good attitude and see what we can make happen. After that, we're gonna try to meet up with the crew What's at, uh, I don't know where we're gonna be at, but we're gonna go hang out with the rest of the people and it's gonna be a party. So, stick with us. What's going on guys? Yo, my sister Sarah purchased this for me for Christmas. And it's the first time I'm going to use the sending stick. I am super excited that it's going to help my homie get to the top. I'm super excited too. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Oh boy, I'm with you.
That's it, bud. Come on, Jake. Nice, nice dude. come on. Yep. Come on, top this thing out, Dave. Got another pad under you. Oh, right here. Yeah, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Nice, bud. Nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Jason. Atta boy. Atta boy. Breathe, buddy, breathe. I love it, dude. Kind of like that. <laughs> yep, yep. We are back at it. I'm with Jason. <laughs> Yo, what's up? From Arizona, right? Yeah, Arizona, Phoenix. Yeah, that's where I was. Uh, I was born in Maricopa County. Oh no way! Yeah, well, I still have uh, <laughs> my grandma lives there. My cousins. Um, it's kind of dang. You gotta get back and climb there more. Or something. Yeah, I for sure. I don't know when the last time was you were there? But yeah. It's been a while. Um, the last time I was out climbing in Arizona it was in Flagstaff. We went to um, American Forks Paradise Can Paradise Forks Canyon. Okay. Something like this. And actually, we weren't even climbing. It was like a Highline Festival that they were putting on at that moment. Oh, nice. There was a time that I was getting into it. it I've was... got a friend that does Highlining. He's super into it in Phoenix. Yeah. It gave it gave me a sense of. Um, of just power dude to do something that like surprised me you know i was never like one of the you know more, more gifted ones but i was able to make a few steps and, and sections and i always felt like wow this is this is living man that's legit i can probably take a couple steps and that's about it i've only ever been doing on a high line <laughs> but you know what or on a line sorry a slack line not a high line <laughs> But you know what? You do a lot of rock climbing. That's right. And um, the conversation that we've just been having here casually before the camera came out, um, I was, you know, probing you for like, how do you, how's your mental game so strong? Because you're out here as a solo climber, um, bouldering, and, you know, you're kind, you have to be kind of self-contained in, in the sense that you're the one looking out for yourself. Um, yeah. I mean, that's, that's just what you said. You kind of... I've been doing it probably, I've been climbing for eight years and I've probably been soloing for like the last four. And it, it definitely, I think putting mileage in, getting comfortable with it, even when you're around friends so that you're comfortable with it when you're not, is really important. And, and really it's keeping yourself in check too and not doing something too outrageous. Um, always should be comfortable with what you're doing. And um, yeah, it, it can be developed and uh, you just got to keep after it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What could you could you tell us one of the most kind of rewarding experiences that you could think of at the top of your mind? You know of yeah, I don't know. That's a it's I very think, I, honestly. I think anytime I get to the top of a boulder, pretty rewarding experience. <laughs> like that's awesome. Um, 
I think in particular, one of the things that's big for me that I really, it's very rare. It's probably happened to me maybe eight or nine, 10 times ever is when you're on a boulder, like first attempt at a very committing move, usually um, near the end and you stick it that first time. That's one of the coolest things I think you can do in climbing. At least for me, I just, it's like, you kind of like you're in your head, you know, like, can I do this? Can I not do this? Am I going to blow this? I don't know. And then it happens and you, you go for it. You don't like half ass it. Sometimes that happens, but you just go for it and you stick it. That is a very, that's probably one of my favorite moments in rock climbing for sure is when that happens. Very rare. That's a magical that's moment. That's makes it very yeah. cool. So. Overcoming the doubt and just your desire to, to, to live out to that dream. It. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's awesome. And so last question. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. What's what's one more thing that you could recommend to people that want to get um, outdoors and maybe specifically to the the your first experiences going to, to some of the crags? And I think like even even like more basic than that is get outside. Like a lot of people, I feel like when they start climbing, they get in the gym and they stay there. And uh, I'll tell you, I mean, especially for me, getting outside is awesome. I mean, there it the gym climbing is really awesome in its own right, but I think getting outside is just, I think being outside is awesome. Uh, just being in nature, um, kind of finding these random things out here that are just like, is it climbable, is it not? I don't know. Um, but just going after it and just getting outside and learning it, 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 I don't know. It's, it's just experiencing it is worth it. Like if, if I could tell you guys anything, just get outside. Cause it's, it's, I don't know. Is there something, something more about being on top of it and just being outside? It's just like, I don't know. It's great. Just, just do it. <laughs> Jason, thank you for inspiring us and sharing some of your uh, journey. I appreciate great. you. Yeah. Thanks man. Cool. <laughs> Yes, sir. God. That might help, like, my, slowing down my breathing might help me Take the shot. slow down that move. You're right. Yeah, it's like a weird, weird. That was pretty good. That was a lot better, dude. Atta boy. God damn it, son of a bitch. Okay. Move. Come on. Breathe, breathe, baby. Yes, sir. Come on. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hey, man, can you see him yet? Chewie! No. Give me your best Chewie yell. Yo. That's it, Playboy! <laughs>